Well, today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we are talking all about how to get customers some awesome ideas, some things you maybe haven't thought about. But either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Have a look around if it's first time here. Hopefully you enjoy it. If not, thank you for following, listening, and doing all of that stuff. So today I did want to talk a little bit about how to get customers. And I got to tell you, the customer thing has been a big part of this like movement for the door knocking stuff. And everybody, you guys, if you've seen any of my stuff, you know I hate door knocking. It's just not for our industry. Uh, it is a interestingly large topic right now because there are uh, TikTok videos and stuff like that of like people door knocking. Anyway, people always say, well, if I'm don't door knock, then what can I do to get customers? Like a lot of you who've already been in the industry for a very, very long time kind of know different things. And sometimes it's nice to just break it down again and allow you to just see the fundamental side of getting customers. So I thought, well, my most popular question right now I get multiple times a day is if I don't door knock, what can I do? And I thought, well, let's put it back out there for everybody. So that's what we're talking about today. We're going to talk about kind of how to get customers. And this is going to kind of uh, not be specific to your area, but just in general kind of customer. So anyway, if you're here, you've been a long time um, business, this is still going to kind of help you uh, in general. And I got to start off by saying there's a very big difference between marketing and advertising. Marketing and advertising, you kind of put them both in the same realm, but I got to tell you, ads is something that gets your message out there and there's a buying trigger. Marketing is getting your company out there and allowing that person to make their decision. And they really, really work hand in hand. And I think that if someone doesn't do both, they're really doing a disservice for themselves. They're kind of, they're they're basically putting this out there and they're not, they're not allowing themselves to be found. They're not being where people are. Here's the concept. The concept in business is you need to be seen everywhere. If you're like, well, yeah, I can't be seen everywhere. That's okay. Let me, re- let me rephrase the everywhere thing. I always say you have to be seen everywhere and here's what it is. It's really finding how people would see you and being there. This is the reason that, you know, there's a Walgreens on every corner, right? Or that the coffee shop that just popped up is on a very, very busy road. They need to be somewhere that people see them and will stop. In business, it works almost the same way. We need to be found where people are looking for our services, right? If you just like advertise on a golf scorecard, you see those things all the time, right? You put on a bus bench or a grocery store cart or a, like that's getting your information out there, but it's not where people go to find you. You're then trying to market yourself to trigger a buy in a spot that's very, very hard to do that. Like if I advertised and I sent an ad to every person in a, an apartment building, what are the likelihood that I am going to get work out of that? Possible, but very, very minimal. And the reason is, is in an apartment, people aren't necessarily worried about their windows because it's their you know, the the landlord's type thing, they're going to take care of it. It's not, you find it being a little bit less than you would if you had somebody that had that. Like in a situation where you go into a an extremely low income area, they don't have uh, expendable income, that's not your target market. It's very hard to advertise to them. But if you go to a home show or you advertise to somebody who just bought a house, those people are so much more likely to use you because they just bought a house, they want to keep it fresh. It's like the when you just buy a car, how many times do you get it washed? Every week, basically, until it starts to fade out. 
So you wanna be where people find you and that's kind of the difference in the marketing versus advertising. Marketing is just getting it out there. Advertising is targeted to certain people. Both are super necessary, but you have to be able to do both. And I'll give you examples. Ads would be like if you're doing a Facebook ad, right? Where it is putting it out there saying, hey, uh, book with us and you know we'll get you in before the end of the year. Here's why, here's how to buy us, right? Marketing is more putting it out there as in like, look at this, there's not an ad, but we're doing a Facebook group or a post where it's just like, hey, this is the thing. And then they kind of translate that to us, right? And it all stems back to having a website. I'll tell you that right now, the biggest piece of this puzzle in the age we live now is you have to have a website. You have to have a website. There's lots of ways for that website to be found, but basically everything you do in ads, marketing, calls, all that is lead generation. You're finding people who want your services, getting them if they're interested or they're hot as a lead and then selling them to the next step. And you have to take them and have them do some research on their own. They have to get interested in it. They have to want more information. They have to be triggered to buy. And all that in this age goes back to websites, right? If somebody calls you and says, hey, uh, I'm just looking for a bid. I need to get, you can sell them right there on the phone. They may not ever look at your website. But how they got to your phone number, more than likely, they went to your website to see if you're legit, to see what you do, to see if they get that feeling with you. And if you have a garbage website or you cannot be found on a website, it is really, 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 really hard nowadays to have somebody actually find you. With a website, I can push all my leads to the website. If I get them from a Facebook ad or I get them from a uh, post or a marketing or a blah, 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 put them to the website. They get more information. They get a little taste of it. Then they want to call you. It's like a pre-sell, right? Selling them a little bit before they get sold by you. Websites are so absolutely valuable for that. If you don't have a website or you didn't use a professional company for a website, there's a very, very, very big difference between a Wix site or like, a, hey, I'm creating this site on my own and a real website built and tailored to SEO and tailored to buying triggers and tailored to just fluidity, right? Responsibid on a website is Phenomenal. People go, oh, responsive is expensive. Yeah. And it sells you so much work. In a website, when SEO'd right, will bring you in more than every other advertising or marketing thing you do combined. People go, oh, referral. Yeah, referral is not marketing or advertising. Referral means somebody else likes you so much to talk to somebody. Referrals are awesome, but we're not talking about referrals. As far as ads go, the website will bring you more than everything else combined. Now, SEO to that is awesome, right? But you're sending everything to that. Maybe somebody sees your car because it's wrapped. They go to the website. They call because they got the number from the website. That's the power of the website. It has to have the website. Everything tailors through there and it's almost like a funnel. Everything goes to the website. The website then gets people to either book through Responsibid or they book through your phone number that's really where that comes. It all comes through that one thing. And uh, a lot of you have websites, but a lot of your websites, if you go to your website, you go, wow, I did this thing, right? It looks great, but you think it's great because you did it. By the way, as a side note, uh, I have a YouTube channel myself personally, uh, different from the WCR one, and it's Jersey underscore nation. By the way, go there, please, and subscribe. That's literally would make my day. I'm trying to grow that. It's a new channel. But one of the videos series that we do is something called Rebrand. And I take somebody who offers up their website and I just kind of talk about the website into pieces about it. And there's a lot of things that when you create something, you think it's amazing, but yet your blinders are on. You did it. So not only are you proud of it, but you did exactly what you thought was awesome. It doesn't always translate that way. A lot of great websites that we've looked at um, go check that out. It's rebrand on Jersey underscore nation. But that just shows the premise that there's always like a little bits, right? Even if there's a template or things like that, the SEO on certain things, the way the pictures are, the way that you can draw people in on a website can do heavy lifting for you. 
If you don't have a website, that's really hard because I'm gonna do our ads and marketing and I'm just gonna hope you call the number right off of that, which a lot of times people do, but a lot of times people want a little bit more information in today's age, right? So let's start off. Let's talk about free stuff, okay? Door knocking is free. I hate door knocking because you invade somebody's space every time. 100% of the time you go and do door knocking, people start off the conversation not being happy at you. Not anyone ever, ever has been happy to see someone door knocking. And if you're one of those guys who comes in and goes, I have people tell me all the time how happy they are. Maybe, maybe they said that, but no one in the very beginning is happy to see a stranger selling them something at their door. Not ever, right? A lot of times these people go, oh, they love it. it you don't even own a house. You still live with your parents and maybe that's why you think that that is. But as somebody who owns a house, it's not a thing. I want to have every, um, every interaction be amazing and I want the experience to be amazing. The door knocking doesn't do it. But door knocking is free. Door knocking, the repeat work from door knocking is so absolutely low, it does not make sense. You go spend a whole day door knocking, get a couple customers, maybe, maybe, you just spent all day doing that. What's your time worth? How much did you spend? And now of those, your your repeat rate's 30%. It just doesn't make sense. And then of those people, you're dropping prices. Just none of it makes sense, but it's free. And if you need work right now to get income coming in, cool, do your thing. But if you're looking to build a long-term business, it's not the way. So what else can you do? In the free world, there's a few things. The biggest and I know the younger people don't like this because it's not really as common in them, but it's Facebook. Facebook groups or having a Facebook page is free. It's just like having your Instagram or any other social media platform. By the way, Instagram and Facebook especially can be tailored to your area. When you go, well, I got a TikTok, no work or very, very little work is coming from TikTok because it's a global platform. It's a global platform and you are not selling globally. You're selling to your area, your service area. With Facebook, you can do that. You can literally have those tags in on that Facebook. You can find groups in your area. You can tag to those people. You can have a Facebook page, do B-roll and just posts regularly. It SEOs, it indexes, it brings everybody back to your website, gives them your phone number and makes them hungry for more. If you have a Facebook page for free, you can find Facebook groups, right? Go search uh, mommies of whatever your town is or moms of your town. I guarantee you'll find something. There, Every town has little groups because people can create them for free. You can find that and you can get in those groups and find people asking questions that you're able to answer. People are able to answer questions that way. You don't have to sell, sell but explain yourself. If somebody's asking like, hey, anybody ever use a window cleaner here? Anybody have it? And there's a bunch of different things. You can jump in and if somebody says your name, oh man, I'm just so happy that you you we had given you great results, right? Put it out there. Now you can also talk about things in groups, right? You can put things into those groups for absolutely free that bring people back to your Facebook that could bring people to your website. Giving people a touch to get them back, right? In groups, you're not doing ads, you're just doing marketing. On your Facebook page, you're doing marketing. You're just putting stuff out there in content, making people want to look and get more, right? Remember, marketing is talking about yourself, explaining and understanding your company. Ads are advertising a direct service to you, right? Right. So with all that being said, that's one of them. If you're gonna get into route window cleaning, that is a door-to-door -door thing. You cannot do anything else because it is not somebody's house. You're not upsetting them by stopping in. They see people all the time, so they are just numb to that. They are going to brush you aside most of the time, but follow-ups and collecting leads and everything come from route. If you want to do that, go to route. Build up a route commercially, and it's a whole other aspect. There's route, commercial, residential. Those are the three pieces to the puzzle. Facebook's great. Instagram is great. Every job you're on, take pictures. Not of the house, not inside a house, just of you cleaning. 
or you like carrying something a ladder and kind of smiling or one of your guys or getting off the truck or any pictures that create an opportunity for you to talk are there. People go, well, I don't have stuff. Do you have stock photos? You could go into one house and have a, th- a hundred pictures, different angles, different views, different you know focuses and things you're looking at and it all looks different for B-roll. B-roll is just content you're putting out there. Instagram is that. Facebook pages is that. Putting that content out there allows people to find it because of what you're saying. It just creates something for them to see. People think things are oddly satisfying. Watching you clean a window will do that. And you can tailor things close. It's all free, right? Post your company out there on Craigslist. I don't use Craigslist too much. I think it's not as much as what it was, but that's one thing you can do. Any backlinks or posts, you can do free. Just go out there. Search window cleaning in your area and see what pulls up. All the results on the first 10 pages of Google. See where they're coming from. What is this one? Yellowpages.com. Go put a free listing there. It's just one other way that now people can find you. All of the free things go towards that. I'm going to tell you this isn't free, but it's close to it. But it's flyering. If you like walking neighborhoods, put flyers out. Put door hangers out. You are not invading somebody's personal space. By putting that. One in a thousand may be upset that you put something on my... Awesome. But everybody else, you're putting it in there. It's a passive way for people to see your stuff. They find you. They call you. Meaning it was their decision. They're going to have a better experience. And use you more often because of that. Flyers are cheap. Door hangers are cheap. Right? That's free stuff. There's a lot of pieces out there that are free that are out there for you to use. And if you don't have eight hours of work to do cleaning windows, spend eight hours on your business. Literally find anything and everything that you can to put out there on your company. And no, it's not paid. Don't pay Yelp. Don't pay any of these other companies. Do it free. There's free listings on all of them. They don't index as well, but if you're in a thousand places, You'll be found more times than if you're in none. Right? Free stuff does not have the bang that the paid stuff does, but you either have time or you have money. And you don't have both at the same time. Right? Once you have crews out there running, if that's your if that's your goal, you got just tons of money, you don't have time to go do this stuff, that's where EDDM comes in. That's where paid ads come in. That's all that stuff, right? Time versus money. By the way, before I go any farther, i got to do a shameless plug. I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. And this episode is brought to you by me, Jersey, at windowcleaner.com. No, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. I want to be a rep. That's what I do. I literally put in orders. So um, so many of you put orders in through me. Uh, I want to put them all in. All, All of you, all of your orders, big or small, it doesn't matter. Just text me, 862-312-2026. Just say, hey. Everything's in my cart. Actually, in checkout, there's a button right above the checkout button. It's just to save this cart. If you do that, it snaps a picture and I can see it. So instead of hitting checkout and going that process, you hit save the cart, shoot me a text, I can do the rest. It absolutely costs you nothing extra, not a penny more. It's like a second of your time and I get credit for it. It's a high five and uh, it just, it, it really... It really is awesome when you guys tell me that you appreciate the content and stuff, and that's that just makes my day. So do that, first and foremost. Uh, also, uh, get yourself a subscription. We're nerds. We're watching or listening to a podcast right now on window cleaning, so why not also have a magazine, a real paper magazine with stickers for your buckets and everything else, all based on window cleaning. It's American Window Cleaner Magazine, AWC, MAG.com. Get a subscription because you're absolutely awesome. Um, but yeah, follow me everywhere. I'm stuck by the way, on TikTok, on Instagram, on um, YouTube, I'm like stuck at this weird level and I'm trying to like break through. So if you are and you want to, yeah, go find all that stuff and follow me. Anyway, shameless plug over, but as a lot of you talk about the shameless plug work, so thank you, by the way. Um, But yeah, free stuff's great. But when you get past the free stuff, There's paid stuff and people, what can I do? Well, 
what you can do is what you have to invest. Some of you are in business with $1,000 in your pocket, $500 in your pocket. And you're like, well, I can't do all of this stuff. I can't build a $3,000 website and pay $750 a month for SEO. I'm not to that point yet. And that's fine. Totally cool. It's fine to do that. You have to find where your budget is and where you are. Now, people go, well, what's the best thing I can do? Well, the best thing you can do is spend as much money as possible on the right things. Split testing, checking, testing everything to find out what works. But if you could spend $10,000, you would have that much more work, right? Because you've got to think of ROI, right? I'm going to get X amount for every dollar I spend. The more money I spend, it's like an ATM. The more money I spend, the more money I get. It's investment. But not everybody's there. So, okay, well, I can do thousand dollars right now what is best it's all split testing it's all split testing baby and if you're new to ads the best thing you can do are again Facebook paid ads now before I go any farther I always hate when I have to do a hard truth and I'm gonna put a hard truth out there right now and uh, you think I suck that's cool. Totally. Uh, could be some dummy. I'm just sitting in front of a screen and talk to you guys. Right. But when somebody tells me that Facebook ads don't work or ads don't work or blah, 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 doesn't work in my area with my customers, with the blah, with the, it is not that the ads don't work. It's that your ad that you posted didn't work. And the shocking thing to me is that so many people think that they do a thing and they're like, hey, done, awesome, cool, great. Oh, nothing came in, nah, ads don't work. No, your ad sucked. And that's cool. You're not like an ad marketing genius. That's why split testing comes in. That's why there's marketing firms. That's why there's all this other stuff because selling is psychological. There's certain things that work, certain things that do. What you are doing just didn't work. Change it. Change it. When guys get ads right from split testing, it takes maybe a year, but the return will blow you away. I got guys that are doing eight to 10 jobs a day in new work just from Facebook ads. And they're spending like 50 bucks a day, 100 bucks a day, nothing. They're feeding the beast with that many new customers because they got it right. They got it dialed in. They got something that's working. Everything is put together. When you go, yeah, I did this, it, it's like water fed. At least once a month, somebody goes out there and buys a water fed system. It's a brand new tool. They've never used it before. They use it once and go, this thing left spots. It didn't leave spots. You left spots because you don't know what you're doing. Oh, you can't believe I've been a window cleaner. How many times have you used water fed? One time. You don't know what you're doing. Don't be mad at the thing. Be mad at yourself. Work better to get better, right? It's the same concept with ads. The hard part is you put all this stuff together, you make an ad. I've done this hundreds of times. It makes it, it's so good. And I don't show it to anybody. I put it out there and it doesn't do anything. Like ah, People are dumb. No, my ad was dumb. The triggers weren't there. Change the color, change the whatever, right? So spending as much as you can on ads does not mean put yourself in the poorhouse. It means break apart a piece you can spend Spend it smartly. With a Facebook ad, the best part about it is I could do a Facebook ad in a campaign and literally I can change the title, change the, 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 the verbiage, the trigger, the buy, the, all of that, change a picture, change anything, and within an hour's time or less, it's back up. I can change it, see what is it doing now. Ooh, I got a better response. Okay, change the back. Oh, I got a better response. Change it up. Oh, nope, got a worse response. Go back to... You can split test every single day on a Facebook ad and it is accelerated to find out what works. There is nothing worse than creating an ad, putting it out there, leaving it out there for weeks and going, no, 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 nothing came from it. It's because you didn't change anything, right? You, you changed nothing. You changed nothing. So why would you expect there to be different results? Change something and find what works. Triggers, buys. Why does somebody want your ad? Why does somebody want to buy from it? What does it intrigue? Split test all ads. Best way you can spend your money in advertising. The best way that you can spend money if you have already created a website is SEO. SEO, by far, 
is the greatest thing ever. Think of this. One thing for you to think about if you think I'm wrong. If you want something right now you've never had or never seen, never tasted, never tried, what do you do? Go to Google. You go to Google, you search it. The only reason those things pull up is because they're SEO'd to pull up. There is a lot of things out there that does not rank at all. They can't be found and it's because there's no SEO. People go, well, eventually, maybe SEO helps that get found, creates you to organically rise. And when you see first person that pulls up on Google, they didn't just do that accidentally. Their SEO is on point. They could be paying somebody to do SEO, which is active. They could be putting backlinks. They could be doing all those other things that create the crawlers to find you, index you, see what's happening. The ads or the website is changing enough that there's new content where Google goes, this is a valuable website. Let's put it up first. That's why it's there. SEO, but it costs money. Justin Monk SEO. I've said it a thousand times. That's it. Justin Monk SEO. Phenomenal. They did amazing stuff for me. I've used a couple SEO companies. I'm not ever going to talk bad about any of them, but what Monk did for me was I created a, a, a company that did not exist in an area. And within three months, I was ranked on the first page of Google. I mean, that's mind blowing. So anyway, SEO costs money though, but it is a long-term current constant investment. If you got the money to do that, do that. There's also Google ads. There's also Nextdoor ads. There's all of these paid things that you can do to split test and it just all depends on your budget where you're going. Your budget dictates that. But if you're still watching right now, I'm gonna give you the one piece of information for everything you can figure everything out on your own. It's how are people finding you? How are people finding you? Pretend to be a customer. Go in incognito view on your browser and type in window cleaning in your city, window washing in your city, window cleaners in my area, window washing near me. How do I get my windows clean? Where can I get? All of those things, all of those things, put it in there and see everything that pulls up. Because if people are finding you by searching a thing, search the thing and be in front of them. The big piece of this puzzle is that how are people looking for window cleaners? If people are looking for window cleaners a certain way, you have to be that. You have to be there. That's why I say be everywhere. Because one person a year may still use the phone book, it doesn't make sense for me to pay for the phone book. But if one person a year finds me on, you know, hamsterpages.com, which is some weird, obscure search engine maybe, then I want to be listed there. It's free. I want to be there. I would be everywhere. That's free. It's an ongoing thing. But find out how people would find you and be there. It's like if the traffic going northbound on a road is going into the city, more people are on northbound in the morning. That's where I put my coffee shop. I don't put it on the southbound side. I don't put my coffee shop on an alley. I don't put it in a back road. I don't put it on a road there's no traffic. I put it where people are going to see me. That's your ads. Be where people see you. Go and spend some time. Find out how people find you. Ask every person how they find you and they're going to tell you the end result, not how they got there. So be a customer, pretend to be a customer, find all of those things and how people got there. And I'm telling you, once you're all over, which takes time, people find you. The problem with where door knocking is and with building a company is building a company is long term. So people go, hey, I need to know how to get stuff right now. It's marketing. When you see these people who are like, I just started doing this and I make $2,000 a day with it. No, they don't. They're lying. It's, it's, it's false. I know companies making much, much more than $2,000 a day. $2,000 a day is very, very achievable when the company is going. But it is not like a first time thing. It is not a, hey, I just started this and all this money fell in my lap. It's not a make get rich quick scheme. The quick get rich quick thing is short term. If you go complain, door knock somebody's house, and you push them and fine, fine, okay, yes, I got a job. 
That's it. You got a job. You don't have a company because they're never going to use you again because it sucked. Yeah, you did okay work, but I'm not getting pressure. Just, all right, cool. Yeah, no, I'll let you know. You started off the experience bad. Building a company takes time. Now, it could be done in a year or two to really build a company, depending on how much you put into it. If you got more time than money, put eight hours every day. Where would your company be if you could have someone, i.e. you, working on your company eight hours a day, every day? Phenomenal. You could be amazing. So here's your call to action to do that. If you think that you're just sitting there not doing the things that you need to be doing or you don't know what you're doing or where to even start, just start doing things. It is a black hole you'll fall into of marketing yourself and putting yourself out there and be everywhere. I'm telling you, it's how you'll get found. It's how you'll succeed and how you'll build a company. How else you'll succeed is letting me be your rep. Ooh, segue, shameless plug. I like it. Uh, no, but I am a rep for windowcleaner.com is what I do. Please let me put your stuff in. You're never bugging me to let me put orders in. My number is 862-312-2026. Save my number. I'm Jersey. I'm the only Jersey you know. Put it in there. Save it and all your orders put through me. I would absolutely be grateful. I love it. Helps me continue doing this content. Hopefully you got something out of it. And I also see every person who gets a subscription to AWC Magazine. American Window Cleaner Magazine. I see it. I see it. So go and get the subscription. It's like 69 bucks. Go get the subscription, dang it. It's a whole year, 12 months, every month shipped to your door. It's a no-brainer. Get the magazine. Have something to read on the turlet, right? And uh, by the way, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jersey underscore nation. I know you got a second. Just go find it real quick. Subscribe. Absolutely phenomenal. But until next week, go Put your company everywhere, market the crap out of it, but more importantly, go out there and be epic.